Hey everyone, it's Ashley Elizabeth here and I am so excited that you are joining me for this 4th of July weekend special. Uh, I have a story that I feel so compelled to share with you. It's something that happened to me today and if you give me a moment of your time, I believe you will be beyond blessed by this. Um, this morning, God woke me up at a very unusual hour. I woke up at 3 a.m. And if you know me personally, you know that is a God thing in itself because Miss Ashley is not a morning person. I'm a night owl. I go to sleep late. I wake up late. Um, it, it's just me. It's terrible, but it, it's the usual for me. So this was very, very odd. But I woke up at 3 a.m. And I thought, well, Lord, since I'm up, I might as well do something productive. So I began to clean my house. And around 4.30, uh, I decided I crave coffee. You know, I want to go to the Wawa and get me some coffee because Wawa has good coffee. So I go to Wawa and I get me a cup of coffee. And then I thought, well, while I'm out, I might as well stop by Walmart, you know, and go ahead and do my grocery shopping because um, I can go ahead and get that out of the way. And it's like a ghost town that early in the morning, so I won't have to deal with all these people, you know. So I go to the Walmart and I begin my grocery shopping. And while I'm in there, I, I just kind of was thinking, you know, and, and talking to God a little bit. And, and I just said, I, God, just use me this week. Show me different opportunities where you can use me and I can be a servant. And, uh, you know, I, I got my groceries. I put them in my car. I, I started driving. And as I was leaving the parking lot, I see this young man walking across the parking lot. And I can tell that he's homeless because his pants are probably about 10 sizes too big for him. You know, he, I mean, he had to gather the material by the sides and hold them to his waist so they wouldn't fall down because they were just that big on him. And the front of his pants were shredded all up and filthy, filthy, filthy. And his shirt, he had on a white shirt, but it was no longer white because of all the stains that were all over it. You know, it, it was a, a brown color almost. It, it was it, it was just stained to no end. And his little hair, it was just everywhere. And, and I could tell he was a very young guy. This was not an older homeless person. He, he was young. He was in his 20s. And I drove by him, and he just smiled at me, and he kept walking. And the Lord just stop me in that moment and he said I want you to get out your car and I want you to go and talk to that man and to bless him uh, because he's in dire need of a blessing right now and I thought Lord no oh my gosh no I, this is gonna be so awkward I no, I don't want to do that you know and uh, so I pulled out of the Walmart parking lot and I get halfway down the street and I mean I cannot shake it I mean I, I can feel the Holy Spirit just tugging at my heartstrings you know and he's like pull this car around go back go see him and I'm like Oh gosh, all right. So I just, I turned my car around and uh, I pulled back into the Walmart parking lot and I saw the guy still in the parking lot. And uh, I, I put my car in park and I said, Lord, how much am I supposed to give him? I'm, I'm not sure. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, there's a, a certain amount in the side of your wallet tucked away, just a little, you know, extra that you had put there. He said, grab that and you don't even really have to count it. Just hand it to him. That could be his. And I thought, all right, you know, so I got it and, and I walk up to this guy and I approach him and I said, sir, I believe the Lord uh, told me to come and talk to you for a little bit right now. Uh, and, and I believe he told me to bless you today. And I've got the money in my hand and, and I, I stretch out my hand to him uh, for him to take it. And he throws his hands up and he goes, ma'am. Uh, that that's really nice, but but I have money, so y you just just give it to someone else, okay? You know. And I said, sir, I know that God told me to do this, and and I I want you to have this, you know. And he throws his hands up again, and he said, no, I I really appreciate it, but just but just give it to somebody else because I I really I have money. It's right over there, you know. I, I've got money. And uh, I, I try to do it one more time, and he throws his hands up again. He refuses me, not one, not two, but three times when I'm, I'm trying to give him money, even though I can tell he desperately, desperately is in need of uh, a blessing here. And I thought, Lord, this is getting awkward. I don't know what to do right now. I know you told me to do this, but he's not even taking it. So, And I don't want to walk away with his blessing, so I'm not sure how to get him to receive. But as I was talking to him, I noticed that he had like little leaves in his hair. 
and uh, I, I asked him, I said, buddy, I said, what is your name? You know, he shares his name with me, and, and I said, well, my name is Ashley. I said, how old are you? And he, he shares with me, he says, I'm 25 years old. I said, all right. I said, well, um, I see that, you know, you, you have something in your hair, and I'm going to get that out for you, okay? And I walked around the side of him, and I began to, to pull the leaves out of his hair for him, you know? And, um, and I walk around to the other side, and I got the leaves out the other side, and I could tell he had slept on the ground, you know, from the night before, and, and they were just all over his hair. And uh, I told him, I said, look, I said, do you know the Lord? And he looked at me. He said, yes, ma'am, I do. I said, do you know that he loves you, that he's got a plan for your life? And he said, yes, ma'am, I do. I said, all right then. I said, God told me to come and talk to you and to bless you right now. So I said, I have this money. It does not belong to me. This is God's money. And I'm going to place it into your hand and you will take this, okay? And he got so timid, you know, because he didn't even know how to like receive, you know. And, and he just looks down and he was like, oh, all right, ma'am, you know. And and he finally, he, he put out his hand and I mean, he, he was so timid and his hand was shaking, you know, and I, I laid it in there for him. I said, God loves you so much. You know that, you know, and, and I asked him, I said, can I give you a hug? And I mean, his face, he just looked like that just shocked him to no end that even though he was filthy, 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 dirty, that I wanted to give him the biggest bear hug you could possibly ever have, you know, and, uh, and he stretched out his arms and you could tell he was so uncomfortable doing that, you know, and I said, you be blessed. You know that God is going to get you through this season and you be blessed, brother, you know, and, and I walked away that day and, uh, or today and, uh, I mean, I pulled out that parking lot and tears began to fall down from my eyes. I mean, I wept and wept and wept, you know? I, I was just in, in just awe of what God just did right there and, and how, I, and I began to talk to the Lord and I said, God, I, I've never seen uh, someone who was in such dire need and desperation of a touch from the Lord, of a, a blessing, someone to bless them financially and spiritually and to refuse that blessing. I've never come across that before, you know? Uh, and he spoke to my heart in that moment, and he said, Ashley Elizabeth, that is what you do with me all the time. And I mean, I was just taken back by it. I said, Lord, what do you mean? He said, sometimes you have such pride or so much pride in your heart that you will refuse a blessing when your brothers and sisters are trying to lift you up and, and sow into you and to be used uh, by me uh, and to sow into you, you, you will back away because I'm not, I'm not a good uh, receiver, you know, or a gift receiver. I, when my, one of my girlfriends will try to give me something, I'm like, oh, no, 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 you don't, you, you don't have to do that for me, you know, and, and I'll never forget this one time she tried to give me some money and she looked me dead in the eye she said don't you dig up that seed and uh, I, I just thought Lord what am I supposed to say to that right now I have no choice but to receive what uh, she's trying to do you know because she was not going to uh, let me rob her of a blessing she knew that God told her to give me a certain amount and she was going to hand it to me and I wasn't going to refuse her and he said that's what you do with me you see we're all so broken in so many different ways. And sometimes God wants to reach down and, and to bless us because He loves us. And so many times we have so much pride because, and we'll refuse His blessing over our lives. You know, I believe 
uh, in that moment where where I asked him, you know, if I could pick the leaves out of his hair, that was a very humbling moment for the both of us. You know, for me to sit there and pick leaves out of a homeless man's hair and for him to sit there and allow me to do so. I believe that took him back down to a level where he realized his desperation for God's touch over his life, you know. And then he was able, out of that, he was able to receive it. And the way that God blessed me through that situation, I was more blessed through that than that man was by what happened there, okay? And uh, I, I know that some of you will sit here and watch this and think, Miss Ashley, I don't believe in that. I don't believe, you know, some people feel very strongly against giving uh, homeless people money. And, and I just, I have a scripture that I, I feel so compelled to read to you uh, because I understand why, you know, people are against it. Some people work in crookedness and they do it for the wrong reasons. Uh, but I, I want to encourage you in this uh, to just allow the Holy Spirit to let you make that decision, okay? Who to give to and who not to give to. Because I knew the Holy Spirit led me to give to that man. And in Proverbs 21, 13, it says, If a man shuts his ears to the cry of the poor, he too will cry out and not be answered by God. Beloved, that is not a luxury any of us can afford. I am desperate for God to move in my life. I need God to move in my life. So I have to be obedient. Even when I don't understand it, even when it's awkward like it was this morning, like I have to be obedient to his voice, even um, at all costs, you know, not knowing what's gonna happen. And so many times when we choose to do that, we become more blessed than, than the person we are wanting to bless through that. So that just blessed me. So I've cried most of the morning. I mean, God just wrecked me today, you know, with that. And uh, I've, I've cried most of the morning. And I, I believed in my heart and my spirit that that would be a blessing to you. I know the Holy Spirit led me to uh, to film this and, and to share it with you. I've, I've tried to film it a couple of times and each time I could feel the attack of the enemy coming over me and my body would start shaking uncontrollably as I was filming and I had to get down and on my face and pray. So I know without a shadow of a doubt that the enemy did not want this video to go out, but I don't bow down to the enemy. I serve Jesus uh, Christ who crushes him underneath his feet. And uh, I, I am going to share this with you because I believe that it's going to move some of the hearts and the spirits and the souls of you on the other side of this camera. So uh, I just, I want you to know that I love you. I want you to uh, be blessed by this. I want this to encourage you to listen to the Holy Spirit and, and hope that it encourages you uh, to ask God this week, what, what could you do? How could you be used to be his hands and his feet? Because there is nothing that will ever compare to being uh, used by God and in this type of way. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. You take care. You be blessed. And until I see you again, bye-bye.